Hey there, welcome back to my playthrough of Breath of the Wild. Thank you so much for joining me again. We are here in the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab or something like that. We've been speaking with Pura Pura, however you want to say her name. We've been speaking with her. We got some uh, new quests in the last episode. And uh, they are on a different screen. They're on this screen, Adventure Log. We've got... Uh, some uh, side quests. We've got a cursed statue. We didn't get that from Pyrrha. We got that from somebody else. But uh, we got Robbie's research. We got slated for upgrades. These are both from Pura. But at the end of the last episode, I noticed that there's a book over here that we haven't looked at. So let us examine this book. Sheikah Sensor Notes. About the Sheikah Sensor. Author, Simon. The Sheikah Sensor is one of the basic runes found in the Sheikah Slate. If it senses an ancient shrine containing a hero trial nearby, it will lead you there by emitting a series of sounds. The interval between sounds shortens the closer you get to a shrine. To stop searching for your object of choice, set the Sheikah sensor on your map to off. Object of, object of choice? I could search for other things? Hmm. Okay, well, thanks, Simon. Simon... He says, good morning. And uh, that's the end of that. I just wanted to see if he had anything new to say, and it doesn't look like he does. So, um, what do we do first? Let's take a look, not at the map, at our quests again. So, uh, this one we'd have to go to Akala. If we uh, set our destination there and then look at the map, we'll see that we... Um, well, I guess we don't know where Akala... Oh, holy moly. Okay, so there's there's where Akala is up there. That's not the right button to press, dude. Uh, and then, slated for upgrades, we have to bring components back to Pura. And I don't think that the game is going to tell me where I could find uh, stuff... So that's, we'll just get to find that stuff on our own by killing guardians. All right, well, I mean, I thought that she said that we needed to go back to speak with Imp. Impa. Yeah, I guess it's part of this one. Okay, this one here. Uh, you proved the camera works again by capturing an image of Pura. According to Pura, the album already has pictures from the past in it. Where could these have come from? Impa and Kakariko Village may have the answer. So let us walk back to Kakariko Village. Do I still have a torch in my inventory or did I use it up? Let me see. I do still have a torch. Okay, just wanted to make sure since there was a perfectly good torch sitting right there. I just noticed an icon that I hadn't noticed before. I can't point it out, but just to the right of this box here, you see like the, my temperature gauge? Well, underneath of that, it looks like there's a mountain with, um, I don't know, three lines under it, and one of the lines is lit up. So is that because of my hat that I'm wearing? That, uh, let me let me take off the hat and see if that line goes away. Yeah, I think that's what's going on here. Remove. Oh, it, it completely goes away, that, that icon. Okay, interesting. I did not know that existed. All right. So I guess there's three levels of climb speed up. Well, so we could fast travel. We could very easily fast travel back to Kakariko Village. And I'll tell you, I'm kind of tempted to do it. But, but if we walk there then we'll have the opportunity to use our new camera and take pictures of things. Um, I mean, the things that we're supposed to take pictures of are in the compendium. We've got creatures, monsters, materials, equipment, and treasure. There's only four treasure items to take a picture of. Not really sure what they mean by treasure and same thing with equipment to tell you the truth i mean what exactly is equipment i mean is equipment like like this torch right here 
So if I wanted to take a picture of this, I would have to select camera, go here, torch. Okay, there you go. That's nice that it tells you right there. Okay, we just took a picture of a torch that gets saved in our album and the image has been added to our Hyrule compendium. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right. All right, well, I like that it, um, I like that I could walk around with my camera out. <laughs> Can't open doors though. Okay, so equipment, I guess, is like, um, weapons and such. Ooh, a question mark. What was there? Question mark? On an apple? Apple. <laughs> I just took a picture of an apple, man. To the high rule compendium. Okay. Well, I can have some fun with this. It's just a very clever way of I feel like it's a clever way of getting you to walk across the land instead of um, fast traveling. So Kakariko Village is in this direction, but is it in this direction? I don't know, which quest do I have selected? Holy cow! Okay, it's way up here. I'm th I'm wondering if before we go back there, maybe we go over to these shrines. What do you say? We go over to these shrines, we'll get us a couple of more uh, spirit orbage. So yeah, let's do that instead. So let's go this direction and see if we can't go to one or both of these shrines. Wow, look at that one up there. And there's one down there in the mists. Gosh, I have no idea what's down below. Is that out in the water? Can I even get there? Probably need to get to this one first, and then maybe I could glide down to that one? I don't know. Man, look how far away that one is. This thing isn't going to tell me how to get there, is it? Boy, that is, whew, that is really, really, really far away. Um, I wonder if I could just basically make a beeline to, like, here. Let's, let's put a stamp here. And, um, just put a waypoint here. So I have something to aim at. I don't know, this might be a really, really dumb idea. But, uh, I'm gonna try... The best I can, anyway. Ooh, here's something to take a picture of. A farming hoe. Okay. That was important. Gotta take a picture of these things, man. They're not gonna take pictures of themselves. What's in this back door? Oh, it's a side door. <laughs> Alright. Oh, what's this? Oh, before we pick it up... It's a sun shroom. Oh, yeah. Well, we don't know these. Sun shroom. A bright red mushroom that grows in hot climates. Imbued with the power of heat. They can be used to cook dishes that will allow you to endure the bitter cold. A high-tail lizard. <laughs> See if we can sneak up on this guy and take him. I just picked up a high-tail lizard. Sorry, buddy, you live in my pocket now. Uh, here is a farmer's pitchfork. I like these things. I'm gonna take that. I'm sure, I'm sure she won't mind. Okay, I want to go towards the yellow there. Man, those are some pretty steep mountains. But here we go. I'm gonna try this. This may be the dumbest idea ever. This is, uh, this is my plan here. I'm going to see if I can't... Boy, actually, do I want to be way up here on the mountain? Because that's awful high up there. 
Oh gosh, I forget that there's uh, stamina that I need to worry about with this thing. For some reason, I, I, I think that I could just glide forever, but I cannot, and um, I'm about ready to run out of stamina. <laughs> oh gosh, um... Oh gosh. Oh man. If, if I fall in the water from here, will I be okay? Okay, that'll work. Oh crap, dude. <laughs> oh, ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. I thought I was safe. Darn it. Yeah, I forget that I don't have unlimited stamina. Shoot. Um. Well, poo. That really does take some of the fun out of it. <laughs> I can't glide forever. So what does he do? He goes back and tries the exact same thing again. So maybe I'll glide over here to this mountain. We'll do some walking from here. Yep. I thought I could just glide until I landed. But I cannot. Alas, I cannot. Well, let's go for a little run here. A little detour, diversion. I mean, is there going to be some monsters around here, aren't there? I bet you. We're back in Hateno Village. Oh, what was this? Another one of those little dudes. Well, I guess I'm going on another wild goose chase here. Wait a minute, can I take a picture of this? Uh, it doesn't look like it, no. Huh, where did it go this time? Okay, up on the rock. Interesting. Oh! <laughs> and if I die because of this... Oh, that's kind of cool. I kind of wanted to come up here anyway. Thankfully, it's not raining on us. I like how you could tell from the sound effect, like, which direction you need to go in. Oh, this one's a different color. Korok seed. We now have three Korok seeds. Can I take a picture of you, buddy? No? Well, that's kind of disappointing. Why can I not take a picture of one of these little dudes? That seems like an oversight. Alright. Okay, whatever. Uh, that's where I'm going. That's not the right button. Try this, man. Let's see if we can get over there. Some. Do I want to go up? Yeah, whatever. Let's climb up here. Let's get even higher. Let's really get a feel for this place, man. Let's really explore the space. our destination. Okay, this might work. Oh. 
Oh, buddy, don't run away. I just want to be friends. How much of a zoom does this camera have? Enough. Terrible picture of a mountain goat. That's like a picture I would take on vacation. Ah, uh, I can't get... A blue and Terran. Oh, that's pretty cool. Little action shot. Blue winged heron. That's pretty cool. I don't know where my little foxy friend went. He's kind of far away. Yeah, I'm zoomed in as far as I can go. Oh well, maybe next time. Okay, we need to get over there. Boy, that's, um... Hmm... I don't know if I could glide all the way over there. I probably can't. So, what's the best way to get over there? I don't know. I say just go for it. That's what I say. Oh man, if I can get on this plateau here, we'll be we'll be in good shape. We'll be in real good shape. So I have no idea how this game is leveled. I don't know if, like, there's areas that are, like, just... The monsters are just too tough. And that I just shouldn't be, you know, here yet. Look at all the apples in this tree. I want them. Climbing the trees is not my favorite thing. Just trying to get the controller to do what you want it to do. I mean, these apples, they're just so tempting, but I really don't want to spend a lot of my time trying to climb and get those higher up apples. Well, let's go. Oh man, he flew away. I didn't even get to take a picture of him. Oh well. This is a bit of a trek, huh? Man, I keep hearing things. Worrying that I'm hearing monsters. Is this that's this is a different kind of heron here? A pink heron. Cool. Oh yeah, we're gonna fill out this compendium in no time. Um Yeah, I'm hearing some scary stuff. Down the hill here. Very scary stuff. Man, I still have a ways to go to get over there, don't I? How am I going to get over there? And it's up there, right? I don't see it now. Wow, we still have a long way to go. Um... Tell you, I'm... Whoa. Whoa, what's down there? A Hinox? Well, this is a terrible picture, but I'm going to capture it anyway. I mean, when will I get to take another picture of a Hinox? Whatever that is. It'd be cool if, um... If I could, like, uh, you know, get some information about these things. Oh, I can. The largest monster to make its home in Hyrule, the Hinox lives primarily in forested areas. A keen awareness of your surroundings is paramount when facing one, as Hinox are known for tearing entire trees from the ground and using them as weapons. Yikes. A deft hand can steal weapons off the necklaces they wear. 
And then there's some common locations. And there's some even, even tells you about materials you can get from toenail, tooth, guts. All kinds of cool stuff. Okay. Hightail lizard. Lizard found throughout Hyrule. It's a bit slow to react at times, but if given a chance to escape, it will dart off quickly. Cook it with monster parts for a speed-boosting elixir. All right. So all this talk about cooking stuff. The game has never told me how to cook. Oh, there's a fox. A grassland fox. It's beautiful. The crappy picture, but I'll take it. And then there's your friend. Oh, I can't take a picture of the little birdie. At least not from here. Yeah, it doesn't look like these are little dudes that we could... Oh, I take it back. Can I take a picture? Oh, no, don't flee away. Mm, delete. We're going to delete that one. Um... So, a while back, we picked up some wood, I think. Maybe under materials. Yeah, wood. A portable bundle of wood. You can use this to make a campfire if you have something to light it. Well, I could make a campfire, but do I know how to cook at a campfire? So if I want to just select it, hold, hold. Okay, now I'm holding it. And now I'm going to drop it, maybe. I'm just gonna see if I can do this. Okay, and now I want to go into my inventory and get out my flint. Hold. And, um... Hmm. I could drop it. I don't want to drop it. I want to use it. Um... Hmm. Um... How do I use flint? Strike it with a metallic weapon to generate a spark. Okay... Uh, how the hell do I do this? I mean, do I need to be holding it? Hold. Okay. And then I need a metallic weapon. Which I guess this is metallic. So how do I do this? How do I strike this? I have no freaking idea. Do I just drop it on the ground and beat on it with my sword? There's a little more instruction here. Oh, I can't. E I can't even drop any of it if I wanted to. Well, I guess I can. I hold it, and then I drop it, and then I strike it. I did it. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna start a forest fire here. Okay, well, I started a campfire. I could sit at it. See, this is all I could do at a campfire. Where's my option to cook something? Do I go into my inventory and just pick something? Use it when cooking to prepare. I mean, how do I cook? I have no idea how to cook. I mean, I don't think I just throw things on the fire. Here's an apple. Hold. Okay. Okay, I'm holding it. Drop. Apple. Okay. Oh, damn you! I'm trying to have a little fr Oh my gosh, you took my fire, you mofo! You- oh my gosh! Um... How dare you! He took my fire! That was cool how the grass caught on fire when he was running, though. Boko Bat, a clunky club made by a Bokoblin. If you swing at it at an enemy's shield, it may be able to knock the shield out of your foe's hand. Uh-huh. Well, there goes my fire. 
I don't have any more flint, so I cannot make another fly fire. That mofo! That was kind of cool, though. I was just trying to figure out how to freaking make a baked apple. Did I make a baked apple? Because it looked like it caught on fire. Doesn't look like it, does it? I still have just 23 apples here. I don't see anywhere where I would have a baked apple. Well, that's kind of a bummer. I mean, it is possible that I just st simply didn't leave the um, apple on the fire long enough. I, I yanked it out of the fire because it looked like it had caught on fire and I didn't want to burn it. I guess I just need to go online and look how to cook. That's disappointing. Whoa. Oh, I guess it's the moon coming up, huh? Can't take a picture of the moon. That stupid bokoblin jumping up out of the ground took my fire. That is crazy. Oh, okay. I guess I could have tried to take a picture of him, but that was so shocking. He just came out of nowhere. Stole my fire. Um, I don't know. Let's see if we can get a view of the... There we go. Oh, we're almost there. I'm very excited. Oh, oh no. Looks like I... Oh my gosh, that place is like a big skull. Oh! Hello. Water buffalo. Terrible picture, but I'll take it. Water buffalo. These wild cows come equipped with big, strong horns. They live off grass that grows near the waterfront. Their meat is considered to be high quality, so they're a common target among hunters. Fun fact, the domesticated Hateno cow, often raised in villages, was bred through selective breeding using these. Okay, I'm going to guess that they're not hostile towards me. I mean, unless I get too close, then maybe they might come at me, but... So, um, I really don't want to fight that camp there, so I'm going to see if I can't sneak past it here. Just kind of give it a wide berth. That's my plan. Oh gosh, they got lookouts. I mean, I could probably just run past them. I will say I'm a little intrigued by that skull looking thing. Can I go inside of it? Would I want to go inside of it? But I really don't want to try to face four of these dudes. No idea if this will work or not. I don't know if I have the patience to do it either. Bokoblin. So this is a Bokoblin. What was that skeleton thing? Oh, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's learn about this guy. This common species is a nuisance all over Hyrule. Some have unified in the time following the Great Calamity and have formed factions of bandits. While not very clever, they were at least intelligent enough to hunt beasts and grill the meat for food. Though they're typically ferocious carnivores, they actually enjoy fruit as well. They enjoy fruit! They're so healthy! Huh. Well, I don't know if this will work or not. There's Link's butt, in case you wanted to get a good look at it. Well, the rain may provide some cover. I don't know if the game takes that into consideration, but... Oh, he sees me. Oh, he sees me, alright. Oh, he sounds the alarm. But hopefully I'm far enough away from them that by the time they start chasing me, I will already be long gone. Oh my gosh, look how many of them. There's a lot of them. 
I think we're good. I think we're gonna be okay. I don't think they're gonna come all the way up here. They generally don't chase for too long. There's the shrine. Be nice to get into the shrine and out of this rain. It's a pretty hard rain falling down right now. Oh, I saw another shrine over there, I think. Did I? Just a just a brief second. Maybe uh, maybe that was just a I don't know. I thought I saw some orange over there. But I don't now. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I can't seem to zoom in and out when I'm doing this. Right? Can't zoom in and out. That's it. You have one zoom level and you'll like it. Huh. That's funny. I, I'm pretty sure I saw something orange over there. Pretty sure I did. But, oh well, it's gone now. See? Did you see it? For just a second. Did you see it? Let's see if I can get it to do it again. No, I can't. But th there's one over there. There's a little teeny tiny teensy tiny bit of orange right there. Looks like there's a guardian over there too. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know whether I just... Uh, found one or not. We'll just leave that pin there. I'm going to remove this pin. I don't need it anymore. Alright. Enough lollygagging. Yeah, I guess you don't take pictures of shrines. Oh, here's some keys. Oh, I don't think I got it. Uh, did this work? Stalk Goblin. Hey. Do you mind? Hmm? Do you mind? Hey, you're throwing stuff at me. Hey, cut it out. He hit me. Huh, um. Okay, we got him. Something on the ground over here. Oh, jeez. Arrows. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not the right button. Come on, inventory. Wow, whatever he shot at me, it hurt a lot. I'm gonna eat these many apples I've got. He's shooting arrows at me. Oh, another one. Yeah, keep shooting arrows at me. I'll just pick them up. Come on, quit sh keep shooting them at me. You get an unlimited supply of... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another dude? What the heck is going on over here? I chopped down a tree! <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Oh, what's this thing? A Korok leaf. A single swing of this giant sturdy leaf can create a gust of wind strong enough to blow away light objects. These will sometimes fall off trees as they're chopped down. You gotta be kidding me with this stuff. This is awesome. Alright, I've about had enough of your crap. Yeah. Okay. Hey, we survived. Had to eat some apples, but uh, we survived. Oh, that's the volcano over there. What's this? A spiked boko bow. An upgraded boko bow bound with animal bone to boost its durability and firepower. Its craftsmanship is sloppy, but it's light and easy to use. Jim Shrine. I want to go over here and see if he, sh he had shot any more arrows that I could pick up. I 
don't see anything. Man, I chopped down a tree. Oh, I made wood. <laughs> okay. Well, now I know how to make wood. What I need is flint, though. Gotta keep an eye out for flint. Well, I guess there's no more arrows over here for me. Oh, well. Are you son of a gun? Things popping up out of the ground. Dangerous out here. Well, we made it. It was a bit of a trek, but we made it. Throw a boomerang with R and it will fly in a large arc before returning to you. Okay. To you who sets foot in the shrine, and I am Muo Jim, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this combat trial. A modest test of strength. Oh, goody. Modest test of strength. Yeah, we'll see how modest. Hmm. Hmm. Am I gonna get ambushed? Oh. I was just getting ready to say something's gonna rise up out of that hole there, isn't it? Well, at the very least, I'll, if, I, if I kill this thing, I'll get some parts from it. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Holy macaroni. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, 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 my gosh. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, what's it gonna do? I'm scared. Oh, my gosh, are you kidding me? Darn it, keep crouching when I don't want to. Oh, my blade is dead. Oh, man. I am really tired of this one-hit kill bullcrap, man. Doggone it. Ah, I'm trying so hard to fight and use moves and stuff, and then he just hits me once and I'm dead. Ah, that thing just told me to cook stuff. I don't know how to cook. You haven't told me how to cook anything, game. Doggone it. Mmm. Um, weaponry. I mean, I guess I could try to poke at him from a distance. I don't know. Maybe I use the guardian sword. Although I don't think that this thing really um, lasts long. Golly, man. One hit and I'm dead. Damn. Look at that. Um... Let's see. I mean, I've got a shield I could get out. And, uh... How's he gonna do this thing? Okay, that's not doing me any good. I have to wait till he does something. Oh, crap. Oh my gosh, see how close that was? Oh, he got a shield up. Oh crap, man, I'm so afraid. I mean, look, look at how much health he still has left. And, um... I, uh... One hit and he'll kill me. Ah, my sword's badly damaged. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Guardian Scout 3. Did I just sacrifice my life to take this picture? 
And I did. Damn it. Oh. Doggone it. Doggone it. Yeah, you know, I was talking about how, um, you know, is there leveling in this game? Like, are there areas of the game that I just shouldn't be in yet? I don't know. Should I not be in this, uh, this shrine yet? I don't know. Shield. I mean, that weapon wasn't really doing a whole lot. I don't know. Will the boomerang do anything? I don't know. Still not 100% sure how to use the boomerang. I, mean, I doubt it'll do much. What was that? What, are you shooting at me now? Why do I have my freaking bow out? Uh, oh gosh, I have to go pick it up. Oh, oh, damn it, I don't have a weapon out? Oh, this is annoying. Um. Shoot. Uh. And I missed him. Well, crap. Okay, the boomerang, I'm not a big fan of, because it leaves me... Son of a gun. Well, maybe I have no business being here. I mean, I am not even getting close to killing this thing. Um, shoot. A modest test of strength. Doggone it, man. Uh, well, you know, you just try different, um, strategies. And, um, hope you find one that works. I do feel like a shield is probably a good idea. And I really, really don't know what weapon to use. What's the best strategy for this thing? Um, should I be using my bombs, maybe? Um... Can I stasis him? I guess not. No, I can't seem to stop time. That would be cool if- oh, son of a gun! Be cool if I could, but it doesn't look like I can. So... Is he gonna be dumb enough to walk over this bomb? He is. Boy, that sure didn't do much. Quit shooting at me. Quit it. Oh. <laughs> oh he shot my bomb! <sighs> this is not working. My bomb strategy is not working. Son of a... I mean, as if, as if this guy wasn't bad enough. Quit shooting at me! Oh, now what's he gonna do? If I could just bait him into his little spinny attack, and then... And then rush in... Oh, oh my sword, my uh, shield works! Okay, keep the shield up. Okay, this is my strategy. Gosh, I'm doing such a small amount of damage to him, though. My strategy is to bait him into his spinny attack. And then, um, rush in. Oh, 
Well, it didn't work. He didn't, uh... He didn't cool down that time like he has been. I don't understand why he didn't. Just go changing the rules on me, dude. God, this is gonna take forever. My sword is already badly damaged. My sword broke. That's not good news for me. The next strongest thing I have is this. The Eightfold Blade. Oh crap. Quit it, quit it, quit it. No, 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 stop it. Okay, here he comes. Oh, he hit me anyway. Oh crap. Back it off. Back it off. God, I don't even have him halfway down yet. Damn. Eightfold blade is badly damaged. I'm not even gonna have enough weaponry to kill this guy. Okay, he's gonna do this again. Oh, 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 interesting. Okay, that's something to keep in mind. Don't even have him halfway yet. Uh, well. My blade broke. Damn. Golly, man. Let's use this rusty thing. I don't know. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm just about dead from one hit. into that thing. Takes me too long to get to him. I mean, it's almost halfway. I mean, at least he telegraphs his moves. My rusty broadsword broke. Man. This is... I kept you... Okay, he's gonna play this game again. Should I even do any damage to- Oh, what's he doing? Oh, great, he has another phase. Oh, for crying out loud. Whoa. What is going on? What does this mean? Um, I don't know, let's try to hit him with a boomerang now. Oh, damn it, of course he stops. Oh gosh, oh gosh, she's faster now, it seems like. Eh, my boomerang's laying on the ground over there. I don't have a beam between me and... Oh, he's gonna do that again. No, darn it. Well, let's throw it anyway. That didn't work. Um... I didn't even hit him. Darn it. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, oh did it break? Oh, here it is. Quit it. 
I threw that other thing. Oh no, get away from me! Oh crap, I can't use my shield with this thing. Oh my gosh, I, I don't have any freaking... Oh, I can't use my shield with this either. Oh, he's on this. Ah, jeez. Um... Oh, 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 oh. That didn't do crap, and I lost one of my pillars. I need my shield. I don't have any more weaponry, man. I don't know, man. Ah, crap. Damn it. Ah, shoot. Man, all this way... I'm not going to be able to finish him off because I don't have the weaponry. No, it's not what I, really what I wanted. Oh, look at this. Um, I don't really understand. Didn't do anything to him. Nothing. I'm getting desperate now. Shoot. I'm gonna do this again. Oh, what? I don't know what to do with this. I have no idea. I mean, it doesn't seem to do anything with the bomb. I mean, the bomb doesn't do anything. So I don't know what to do with this. What? What's? What's? What am I supposed to do with that? That did, like, nothing to him. <laughs> ah, ooh, he's jumping back. Oh, damn, I don't know what to do with this. It's not like I have any... Well... I'll get three arrows. Did a tiny bit of damage to him. Um, I could switch to ice arrows. I just got a shield up now. Um, I'm just trying stuff, man. Okay, switch back to this. Froze him. I don't know if this is a good thing or not. <laughs> oh gosh, I want to beat this guy so bad. What are you gonna do, dude? What are you gonna do? Do something. You're boring me. I'm just gonna do that again. So I really don't know if if this ice arrow does anything to him at all. I love that. That's so cool. So he's going to do this again. Um, uh, hold on. Oh, darn it. Uh, I mean, is his health going down at all? I don't think it is. Oh, no. Well, at least I didn't die from that. Sheesh. Got my health all the way back. Gosh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything to him at all. So I guess I just need to change my strategy now. I mean, what weapon do I have selected? The vicious Strike still? So he's gonna do this again. I have no idea what to do when he's in this. I'm shooting these exploding bolts at him. 
And that's the end of that, and I think that it was doing a little teeny tiny bit of damage to him. And if I could get over here quicker to him... I can't, though. Okay, did a little bit of damage to him. Oh, please stop doing that. Oh. Oh, what's this? That looked different. Oh, I'm scared! Oh, I'm scared! Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Um, really? Seriously, dude? Jeez. What am I supposed to do with this? My shield broke. I, I can't I can't survive this. Guess I just run. Oh, this is annoying. Um I need to uh I mean get out a shield, it's better than nothing. Um Callie, I really don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do. I got him! <laughs> oh my gosh! My sickle broke at the last hit on him and he was just about ready to fry me, man. Ancient gear, a gear used in ancient machinery, despite being incredibly old, its build quality is leaps and bounds above anything built using current technology. Wow. And then here's Ancient Battle Axe Plus. This Ancient Battle Axe's damage output has been increased to maximum. It's sharp enough to cut through almost anything, so it may have been used to forge new roots. Huh, here's a question mark here. Guardian Shield Plus, this larger version of a Guardian Shield, has had its output level boosted. Its defensive capabilities are comparable to those of a metal shields. Ooh, wow. Well, I got some cool weaponry out of that. That's something on the ground over here. Oh, this is my bomb. <laughs> well, buddy, we got it. Weren't no easy chore, but we got it. Not too bad. I'm pleased with that overall. I don't have any weapons left, except for that giant thing I just picked up. Give me something good, man. I need it. Oh, cool. A knight's bow. The sturdy metal construction of this bow offers superior durability, while its lack of firing quirks makes it quite reliable once favored by the knights at Hyrule Castle. So we just really leveled up weapon-wise here. Ooh, that was crazy. I mean, I, I was, that was it, man. My sickle was gone. I, I didn't know what else I was gonna do after that, use my torch. Because all the other weapons that I had were two-handed weapons and I didn't dare go out there without a shield. But we made it. fought really hard for this spirit orb. Your triumph over the test of strength subverts a prophecy of ruin? From the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. Huh, he says, uh, said something different. Wow. That was insane. I wonder what that thing was called. But I, I know the shrine's name. I could go online and see how other people fought it. Well, two orbs. May the goddess smile upon you. Well, I'm going to have to go raid some more apple trees because I used all of my apples. Thank goodness I had a bunch of them. Okay, when I get done playing here, I am the first thing I'm going to do is go see if I could find out how to cook items because I do not know how to do it still. Oh, beautiful. Wow. That is beautiful. Look at those colors. That is awesome. Oh man, that's going to do it for this episode. <laughs> Hello, Ram. We come back next time. Uh, there is another uh, shrine out there in the water, and I guess we'll go to it. Although, 
I feel like I need to stock up on health items before I go out there, because if this one was this hard, I have a feeling that one's going to be hard as well. But I'll probably go over there anyway, I mean, since we're in the neighborhood. Wow, that's so cool looking. Thanks for joining me on this episode. I hope you had a good time. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.